Hello everyone. You know, favorite thing about science is that it lets you understand how the universe works and lets you predict the future of the universe. And my favorite thing about computers is that they are able to do calculations over and over with great speed. So let's mix both of my favorite things together. Let's write a program which calculates the force between two planets and simulate how they are going to interact through gravity. In this video, I will take you through all the mistakes I made while writing this program and solution for those mistakes as well. And as a side note, I'm using Python as the programming language. And regardless of the programming language you are using, this video will help you understand the basic concepts and physics behind this. Okay, without wasting any time, let's dive into the program. First of all, let's take a look at the formula, which has masses of the planets, g, the gravitational constant, and the distance squared in its denominator. As I'm using Python, I would need two modules. One is the math module for some calculations, and the other one is for drawing the output on the screen. You can choose any of your favorite library to draw on the screen, but I'm going to use Pygame. First of all, let's initialize Pygame. And one more thing, I'm not going to explain how each and every line works, but I will give you a quick overview as this video is only about understanding the concept behind this program. Link to the Pygame documentation is given in the description. Okay, now let's create a class named planet. For those who don't know what class is, it's just like a template for creating objects. And now this class takes x, y and mass as its parameters because that's what we mainly need. And let's add our method to draw the circle on the planet's position. And also let's take radius as parameter. And that's it. We almost have all the ingredients to our simulation. Actually, let's name two more variables, dx and dy here. And I will talk about it later. And now we have our planets ready. And to calculate the force, we would need the distance between them. So how we are going to get it? Your is Did you remember here. this formula? This will give you the distance between them. So let's define a function which gives the output as the distance using this formula. And now we have distance and mass of the both planets. And let's define another function which gives the force as the output using this formula. Now we got the force, but how we are going to simulate this? Well, it turns out that we have something called integration in math. If you divide the force by the planet's mass, you will get its acceleration. And now if you integrate it, you will get its velocity. And if you integrate it one more time, you will get its position. The integration can be done in two methods. One is Euler's integration and another is Verlet integration. In simulations like this, Verlet integration is mostly used. Since I don't know much about it, and Euler's integration is pretty basic and easy, I'm going with Euler's integration. How this works is we calculate the acceleration and multiply it with the time duration and add it to the velocity and multiply that with the time duration and finally add it to the position. And to run it continuously, we put it in a while loop which will first calculate the distance between them and then the force and then the acceleration of each planet and add the acceleration to the dx and dy mentioned earlier and that two value will be added to the x and y position respectively and then the draw method is called which draws a circle in the new position we do this over and over for each frame which looks like an animation and that's it this is how we simulate the gravitation let's run the program That's not how gravity works, they are going parallel to each other. As you can see, the velocity is added to x and y position equally. So that's why this is moving like this. To better understand this, let's take an example. Let's consider two planets in x-axis. Now what we expect them to do is move towards each other in the x-axis. But unfortunately, the program adds the velocity in y-axis too, which makes it to move in a diagonal way. So to fix this, we would need the angle between them to add the velocity in x direction only if the angle is zero and to add the velocity in y direction only if the angle is 90 degree. To calculate the angle, it's pretty easy. We connect the positions with a line and take the slope of that line 
and then tan inverse of the slope gives the angle and now we got the angle and to tell how much the planet should move in each of the axes we should know about resolving vectors to know how much it should move in x direction we need to multiply the velocity vector with cos theta and for y component it is with sin theta and that's it we successfully resolved the velocity vector let's run the program once again and see what happens even now the program is not simulating it properly that's because when we are calculating the angle both the planets get the same angle in fact they both don't share the same angle for example let's consider these two planets with 30 degree from the x axis the first one has the 30 degree vector pointing towards the second planet but if we look at the second planet the angle to point towards the first planet is 180 plus 30 degree now the vector point at each other correctly let's add a if statement in the angle function saying that if the planet to which the angle is calculated if its x coordinate is greater than the other planet's x coordinate then add 180 degree to the planet's angle otherwise don't and one more thing to simulate the planet create the number of planets you need and then add them in a list and then inside a while loop pick one planet at a time and calculate all the forces exerted from other planets and then finally add them together and do the integration by calling each function and then finally draw it on the screen so that's it let's run the program once again the program runs smoothly until the planets collide or form a line perpendicular to the x axis that's because in the angle function what we have is difference in y coordinate divided by difference in x coordinate if they become perpendicular to the x axis the difference in x coordinate becomes zero which makes it crash the program so to fix this what we can do is in the angle function add another if statement which says if two planets x coordinate is equal then the planet on top will get the angle of 90 degree and the planet at bottom gets the angle of 270 degree and that's it now it almost runs smoothly until two planets come closer to each other or collides maybe i am going to fix this in another video or how about a deal if this video gets 100 likes then i will post the video about the collision handling so that's it for today